Hi, my name is Patrick Haggerty, and I'm here to tell you how vital it is to not take anything for granted. In the summer of 2012, my dad had a heart attack. This frightening experience taught me how not to assume anything or the people I care about will always be there. Over the summer, my family was in San Diego for vacation with my aunt, uncle, and older cousin Kyle. He and I stayed up late one night watching TV, then slept in the next morning. We woke up drowsy and hobbled into the kitchen. Instead of seven people eating breakfast, I only saw five. I did not think much of my parents' absence, any of my honey nut cereals. Maybe they went out for a walk or to run an errand. As the day continued, I still didn't see my parents even once at all. I began to wonder where they were, though my aunt and uncle had sort of vanished, so I didn't ask. Around 10 o'clock, my aunt admitted my dad was in the hospital for kidney stones, she said. A kidney stone builds up in your kidney over time and can be very painful. I knew my dad had them for and so I wasn't so surprised. I was sorry for him to get them over our vacation, but I brushed it off to go to the beach with my cousin. It wasn't until later in the day that I learned he'd actually had a heart attack. I was shocked. My stomach suddenly felt like it was in a knot. It never really occurred to me that life could end so quickly and at any moment. Thankfully, my dad recovered and is proactive about managing his condition. This terrifying experience instilled in me the value of spending time with your loved ones and not to take the time you have with them for granted. In the story that Christopher read for us, Jairus' daughter is sick and his father asks Jesus for help. Then, someone comes out reporting she's already died. But Jesus somehow knows he's not really dead, but almost sleeping. Jairus then sees his daughter awakened from her slumber. He rejoices in Jesus. In this passage, Jairus is given a second chance with his daughter, which is similar to my second chance with my dad. Before her illness, Jairus probably took seeing his daughter every day for granted, like I once did. But afterward, he probably saw every morning as a blessing to be with her, like how I enjoy being with my dad. This event has affected my mental outlook on the world. My opinions have changed about seeing everyday objects, like a house or a bed. What if your house suddenly burned to the ground? You'd probably wish you had it back to look upon all the memories you made inside of it. That was how I felt with my dad. I still wanted to have a dad. I started thinking about all the things he's done for me and everything that he does that I take for granted. I was realized that this could all be gone in a flash. As soon as, as soon as I saw him in the hospital, I told him that I loved him and that I was glad that he was still here with us. Then I gave him his iPad so he didn't get bored. Over the years, the intensity of these feelings has faded. I don't wake up every day feeling that pain and key worried sensation I felt then. I only realize this feeling that I have after we get into an argument or that I know I disappointed him in some way. In these moments, I worry that if he died right then, I would not feel as happy as how I live my life with him. I regret that even after this hard lesson, I have not taken my time with him as seriously as I could over the past year. When those painful reminders come, I always resolve to be more grateful and live every moment to the fullest. I'm not sure what kind of person I would be if this hadn't happened. I believe in a serious but not too painful way how important it is to, take, to not take anything for granted. I don't think you can really learn the lesson with I don't think you can really learn to, take, to not take anything for granted without a moment when you realize you could have lost something dear to you. But I do believe other people's stories can help us make the most of our lives. So this is why I offer my story to you. Thank you.